The historic fire station number five on Row Avenue in Elmira is about to undergo some critical upgrades. And our very own Alexandra Dern spoke with the fire chief about what's being done to improve the quality and safety of that station. Elmira Fire Department Station 5 was built over 100 years ago back in 1911, so quite a bit of time has passed and this building has taken quite a toll. Let's hear from Chief Andy Mallow about the renovations that need to be made. This wooden floor has deteriorated to the point that it has become unsafe. The original heavy timber is rotted from years of water and salt and the age of it itself. Fire Chief Andy Mallow says cribbing and plywood on the station's floor have been replaced several times over the years, and it is time for a more solid reconstruction. Plans to upgrade the station have been in the works since the 1980s, and Chief Mallow says when he spoke to city officials about renovating in 2023, everyone was on board. With the help of former chiefs, buildings and grounds director Kyle Sullivan and his crew, Mayor Mandel, City Manager Collins, City Council, and countless others who have helped get this project started, I'm beyond excited to announce that this project is going to take place that has been talked about for decades. Past chiefs have worked with the city of Elmira to budget the funding for the renovations through capital projects and American Rescue Plan funding, totaling to nearly $159,000. Fire Chief Malo says the construction is just about to begin and will only take about two months to complete. It's supposed to be April 1st, they're already staging equipment. They're telling me eight weeks approximately. Um, the neighborhood, it's going to be a little quieter, you know, especially at night. <laughs> But, um, you know, other than that, I think everybody's looking forward to the project. Former Fire Chief Patrick Birmingham says the station needs to stay standing to increase response time and keep the people of Elmira safe. Simply, how long can you hold your breath if you're on the ground from a heart attack or a, a house fire? Uh, frankly, the closer the people are to you, the better off the outcomes are. Like Chief Malo said, construction is going to begin at the beginning of April and it's going to take about eight weeks to complete. And he tells me these renovations are something the community can take pride in. Reporting from Almira, Alexandra Dern, WENY News.